Yeah, when we got offered this job to film these epic mountain landscapes for the Tyrolean Film Commission, we immediately thought of getting the X7. It was just quite obviously the, 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 the right bit of kit for the job. The shoot was about capturing the autumn winter transition in the mountains, which meant hiking a lot to remote areas. Winter this year arrived pretty early and the weather was extreme. This often pushed the gear and us to our limits. We often flew in extreme cold down to minus 15 degrees and we took off in high altitude up to 3000 meters above sea level. The wind in these heights is not to underestimate. The Inspire 2 though is so powerful and so robust, it coped with these harsh conditions. We shot mainly in morning and evening, often doing two locations in the day. They were long days, we were getting up really early, going to bed late. We had to be extremely flexible. Uh, we had to follow the weather forecast closely and, and really not miss the moment when the clouds parted and you had that magic moment with the weather and the light. We had to be there. Sometimes we even took the cable car just to find out that the weather 2,000 meters higher was simply not flyable. 2,000 meters to the top of a mountain just to find out that it was completely useless. Windy, foggy, yeah, just not flyable. Yeah, the greatest thing about this powerful tool, you can stick it in the back of your rucksack, walk to the top of the mountain, get it out, fly, and get the most amazing cinematic footage. Super nice. I mean, changing lenses uh, and rebooting worked seamlessly. Um, which was a big advantage because you're in these cold, high altitude environments. Your hands are cold, you're feeling cold, you're feeling dizzy and tired because you've walked up for three hours. And this is exactly the moment when you need the gear to, to, to not go bad on you. Yeah, it was our key shot, the Brandenburger hut, one of the highest huts on the top of this glacier, wonderful location. The only way to get there is by helicopter. It's uh, particularly remote. Um, the first idea was to walk in, but it was never gonna happen. Yeah. So we managed to get this helicopter and we were gonna land on the glacier. It was so dangerous to land on the glacier that we simply didn't get the permission. So we just decided to shoot out of the side of the helicopter. So there's Pete hanging out the side door of the helicopter with the door open at nearly 4,000 meters, minus 20. Hmm, you can imagine, quite an adventure. Our colorist was impressed with the footage from the X7. It graded up great and looked very cinematic and natural. Yeah, I mean, the footage, once it was graded up, it looked fantastic. I mean, it, it looks cinematic. It looks, from such a small camera, such a big picture. <laughs>